don't know if have any of you ever heard me uh, talk about my father, my daddy. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> well, uh, I do this song for my dad. He was uh, he was an immigrant. He came to this country during World War One. He was just a little kid, and um, he came from Mexico and I moved to into Texas and then on into Iowa because at that time of the, the in the, that time in history uh, we needed uh, people to feed our troops because we were oh hmm, a war we were in a war imagine that but that was the first world war that was the one that was going to end them all remember I'm, well I don't remember my dad did though but anyway they moved and uh, that's where they lived was in Iowa and, uh, of course, he was six years old, and they started, you know, to send him to school and stuff. My dad couldn't hack the school thing. They didn't speak any English. So later on, I mean, he and his sister, one of his sisters quit going. And later, much later in his life, he uh, learned to read and write very, very well, as a matter of fact. But uh, as he grew older, you know, there was always needing to do something. So he started boxing for a living around the Chicago area during the uh, Depression. And, um, and he wasn't very good at it. <laughs> well, he wasn't. He wasn't very good at it at all. He, he, he was one of the guys that kind of flung his arms around like that, so they called him the Mexican windmill. <laughs> and, uh, but he didn't know that. One time his, his uh, manager told him, they wrote, because they wrote about him in the paper, and they said, uh, it was saying that he was going to be in town fighting so-and-so, but they called him the crowd-pleasing a Tex Poncho. He fought under the name of Tex Poncho. His name was not Poncho or Tex, either one. It was Mac Magdaleno. And, but he fought under the name of Tex Poncho. They put it in there. The crowd pleasing Mexican. Tex Poncho, the Mexican windbag, windmill, is going to be fighting, right? Well, his manager tells him that because my dad had never really won many fights. So he tells him that night, hey, Mac, did you see they put you in the paper? He said, oh, yeah? He said, yeah. He said, they called you the Mexican windbag. And my dad went out there and just cleaned this guy's clock as one of the only fights he ever won in his life. <laughs> so anyway, he was a boxer and it was more than apples and oranges down at Safeway. So, so I do this song for my dad. <laughs> and Michael's grandpa, by the way. called The Boxer by Simon and Garfunkel. And this is also a sing-along. When we get to the part where it says Lila, like, you know, what y'all mean, William. You'll know. <laughs> hey, Dennis, there's a couple of seats. There's a couch over here. Come on, you guys, sit down. Have a seat. You don't have to stand up. Thank you. I want to tell you before we get this out and we're all done, because... Uh, because I have to do that at a show, I, I am going to absolutely have to, to run off. So, so uh, I, I just want you to know that uh, I really are so appreciate. We all appreciate you so much coming out. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, I've, I've enjoyed being here. This is my third time, and I've just loved every minute of it. Thank you, Melanie, and the whole crew that she has back there. I'm telling you, what a what a deal they have going on. And what an opportunity for the musicians to uh, to get to uh, do show you their wares for what these wares are for. I am but a poor boy, story seldom told. I have squandered my existence on a pocket full of mumble, which I promised it. All I can do is tell me. What he wants to hear disregards the rest. When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy in the company of strangers. The quiet of the railway station running scared. Laying low, seeking out the poor quarters where the ragged people go. Searching in all the places on the day you would know.
it offers Just to come on from the fours on 7th Avenue I do declare there were times when I was so lonesome I took some comfort there This is where you can sing, come on Wishing I was home, going home Where the New York City winters are in bleeding me Bleeding me to going home In the clearing stands a boxer Fighter by his train He carries the reminders Every blow that the lady he blow A crack in his head He cried out in his anger and his shame I am leaving, I am leaving But the fighter still remains Last chance Good night. I can't. I really have to be playing in one hour. That's the